Now, today, we have here FreezePack. FreezePack is going to be talking to us about why fuel cells are the right solution for freezer applications. And also, they're going to be talking to us about um, why they have closed with us a deal for nine sites, five of which will happen in 2023. So help me welcome to the stage Dave Saud and Mike Saud, who are the owners and the co-founders and co-CEOs of FreezePack. Come to the stage. You want to roll the video or, video, or should I roll the video? There you go. <laughs> All right, Mike and Dave, thank you so much for joining us. And especially thank you for the journey that we have gone uh, together. Since 2015, we've been working together. You have grown a lot, so have we. Yes. Uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about your business uh, so everybody understands what you do. So in 2001, <clears throat> we started our operations providing cold storage in a small 20,000 cubic foot, 800 pallet freezer. Today, we are the leading family-owned, third-party food logistics company and real estate developer of cold storage. By the end of the year, we will have 65 million cubic feet and 315,000 pallet positions of cold storage in operation. We have four facilities under construction and our real estate company, BGFP International, is planning to build another 15 facilities by 2030. Nice. And the four, the four that we have are already on fuel cells, right? Yeah, that's it. There you go. That's it. <laughs> that's good. So tell us about your growth. How is the company growing? So we're building all this infrastructure to support the frozen food industry and our customers. In 2021, the frozen food category did $253 billion in sales. It is expected to grow up to $380 billion by 2030. The number one thing that sets us apart from our competitors is high quality service. Since a good portion of our business is logistics, we're able to uh, provide a one-stop shop, one -stop shop solution. Right. Wonderful. So on that growth and capturing that market and, and you know, helping you to, to get to the point that you are today, how do you think fuel cells have helped you? So FreezePack made the decision in 2014, as you were alluding to before, that hydrogen fuel cells was, you know, we made a decision that hydrogen fuel cells was going to change our business. That vision has paid off. FreezePack has committed to expand this relationship across the U.S. with Plug fuel cells and hydrogen plant infrastructure. In total, Plug will support 11 sites around the U.S. and including three sites that are currently in operation. In operation, right. I remember when we started. Huh? Yeah. It was like a very small yeah, operation very small. on one side. Yeah, that's, that, it has been an exciting journey. So. What, are, what, what do you think the value proposition, or can you explain to the team how yeah. do you extract value from fuel cells uh, yeah. in your operation? When we saw it back in Newark Farmer's Market, <laughs> we, uh, my brother and I looked at each other and we're like, we need this thing tomorrow. Exactly. Um, we have uh, gained a productivity boost of 100%. Uh, it's really amazing to see a forklift get charged in 90 seconds, as opposed to charging a lead acid battery takes eight hours to do that. Mm -hmm. This is why immediately we're like, we need this sense, yeah. right away. Um, we've saved about 31.5% of electricity costs, and as a result, reduce greenhouse gas emissions. <clears throat> On average, we gain about, per facility, 5,000 to 10,000 square feet of warehouse space that was once used to store those lead acid batteries. You know, our real estate costs about three times the amount of a dry warehouse. So every inch of that warehouse yes. is very expensive. And to gain back that space yes, yes. is a huge driver for having plugs, fuel cell infrastructure. Absolutely. And so how about, uh, how do batteries behave in freezer applications? Because I don't know if everybody can see here, but 
those guys over there working in their factory are were on, in their in their warehouses are wearing all these jackets and all that because this is actually a complete building that is a freezer so batteries in freezers how do they behave i mean we we tested out batteries for years uh you know the first year that we have them they almost go to waste we have a problem they never keep their uh charge the the warehouse operators don't take care of them so for us it was a huge thing to have when that forklift drives seven miles per hour from start to finish as a battery as the you know the draw comes down Definitely. the fork truck goes at four miles an hour every second counts in our business to provide service that we provide to our our customers to have that you know speed to market for us that's a, that's a huge huge thing for freeze pack yeah so how about the new uh, buildings that we just signed up can you tell us a little bit more about them? Is there something so, that you want to share? So the sites we're building have a larger footprint and are taller than ever before. Since we have such a heavy power requirement for these buildings because of the cold storage application, having the ability not to bring additional power in for chargers is huge for us. Because of that, plug will continue to be a part of our building requirement going forward. As you, as you alluded to, more sites. <laughs> exactly. So it's uh, really exciting for us. Perfect. And what about uh, next? What's next for, for Freespark? What, what are so, you thinking? So getting our, customers speed, get, getting our customers' product speed to market has always been our first priority. Service is, our, is first and foremost the most important. And we have proven ourselves as a 3PL provider. Our customers are calling on us to build around the country to support their growth. And this will mean more sites and more hydrogen infrastructure to come in the future. Yeah, more sites, I like that. Yeah, <laughs> so do we. Yes, uh, so as you said before, you have designed your new buildings with fuel cells for material mm -hmm. handling in mind. Um, would you ever go back to batteries? So this is my, actually my favorite question. <laughs> <laughs> um, since I, I take care of most of the operations, as my brother alluded to before, I went to go see your product in 2014, and I couldn't believe that an operator can pull up to a station and be ready to go in 90 seconds. I was astonished. I called my brother up and I was like, Dave, I don't care what this costs, <laughs> we are buying it. <laughs> and we were at that point in our career where we had to go three shifts. And my dad was like, no, you can't do that. How are you going to do that? <laughs> and I was like, we're going to do it. And we're going to be successful at it. And having the plug solution was amazing. And we did the first deal. Andy got on the phone and helped us get this done because honestly, we were, we, you know, we're a small company and we're putting $2 million of investment into, the, into your product and we didn't know if it was gonna work, <laughs> you know? And it was, you know, it was tough the first year but Plug always stepped up to the plate and was there for us and still is and I know that we're confident that nine sites will be a blink of an eye for you and I call it getting out of battery jail, you really got us out of battery <laughs> jail. So we're so excited to be a part of the, the, um, the, change, uh, the change in energy shift to hydrogen, and I feel like we're a part of it, and it's really exciting for us, and I feel like we're doing something great for our future and our children, so we really love to be a part of it. You are, so thank you so much, Dave and Mike. It's always a pleasure having you, yeah. you know, Anytime you want, and uh, thank you so much for uh, talking to us. And, yeah, thank and you for having us. Thank you. Thank you.